It's been hyped for months as nothing less than a revolution. Embracing the possibilities of super speed 5G mobile internet in a country already one of the world's most digitally connected. We've led the world in developing 5G technology. As phone makers and service providers, we have set the standards, so we can be the first to release such services into the market. For most people in South Korea, it's the fun stuff of 5G that's the big draw. Effortless video chatting with as many friends as you want in any guise you might choose. Real-time video gaming with multiple users and screens. Augmented reality and virtual reality. Even the ability to deliver holograms of your favorite sports or K-pop stars. South Korea's 5G providers are predicting massive uptake, even though only one smartphone maker currently has a device that can handle 5G. We're expecting at least one million of our customers to take up 5G before the end of the year. Then there's the wider possibilities offered by massive data transmission with hardly any delay. The development of smart cars and eventually driverless vehicles. Managing robots in telemedicine or in industry. Our world is likely to look very different. And then there's the fun stuff. Again, with mobile internet speeds about 100 times quicker, it means a high-definition movie that would normally take around seven minutes to download can be on your device in around five seconds. With so much more data being shared at ever greater speeds, there's inevitably questions about the increased dangers of hacking. South Korea's providers say they've incorporated safety measures into their 5G systems. And for many users, any concerns seem to be outweighed by the promise of near limitless data and speed. Robert Bride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.